Kia ora, welcome back to Little River Cottage. Uh, this is Shane. He's my neighbour that lives over in the next valley and is the local AFB inspector. Uh, this is an update for the hive. Um, I'm going to let Shane do some talking and explain to me what he's doing, which will also explain to you all uh, what's happening within this lily bat hive. Uh, Shane, let's go. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, welcome everyone. It's a little bit cool here today, but uh, we're going to dive in and have a look. There's not a lot of bee activity, which is no surprise. Not my preferred time uh, to do it, but just because of the concerns that we're seeing with the Baverol insecticide. It doesn't seem to be having a lot of effect on the mites as of late, whether it's a bad batch of favorol or whether there's resistance building. Corey has some concerns, and so we're gonna dive on in, have a look. We're gonna do a full inspection. We're looking for high health, AFP, food stores, and a general allocation of, as you can see, she's got two supers on here. And so there may be a case of we remove one box and just consolidate that down to one to let it go in through winter with just a nice small form factor that the bees are more happy to heat. It's how much sun else do you get here? Uh, at the moment going into winter, probably about uh, about five. Yeah, so not five sun hours, it's not a huge lot, it doesn't give a lot of time for the bees to sort of warm up and so when you've got a large area and they can be consolidated into a small factor, they have a higher chance of surviving uh, the winter. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and get stuck in. But there's clusters underneath there and there that we need to have all the bees removed off. So what we've seen here is a lot of dead bees, emergent dead bees down through all around there on both sides. Spotted ones all around the side. You've still got honey up around here and here, so they're still tending and you've still got brood in here but we don't know if they are alive or dead. They will clean it out effectively but we're going to now check for AFB. So we've noted a problem. Mm -hmm. So that, that is really quite spotted, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't <laughs> surprise me. If mm. they are all dead inside, like we'll pull one apart and just have a look. You see it's dead. Mm. Dead. 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 So it's so, all dead. And, yeah, so they will, the ones that could have hatched will have hatched. Mm -hmm. And if these ones have died in here because of whether they've been chilled, whether the nurse bees have simply gravitated to that northern side, this is too far for them to uh, come. We have had a couple of, you know, I mean, it's capped, it looks good, so it's not that old as far as when did they, you know, lay the eggs, that sort of thing, you know, how yeah. far in the timeline of this, you know, so you're only looking about a month or two, and you know, a month or two ago, it was pouring down with rain, we had that really cold snap, we had water flowing, all that sort of thing. So there are all those considerations to, you know, consider. There's a mite. Yep. Mites in there. Mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, there's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's more than, and look, now you can see the deformed yep, wing as well. Wing. Good frame to have in, mm. because there are, you know, the brood is all centered around. You've got honey stores around the outside. Mm -hmm. You've got very little brood on this side, honey stores on the outside. So from that frame onwards, or that frame back at this particular point in time. Yeah. 
I would remove those three, four frames. Yep. Just that one there. You could leave that one in because it's full of honey. Mm -hmm. But I'd take these ones out mm -hmm. and just replace them with full honey stores. From, even though they're three quarters, they'll fit in a full depth one. Yep. You'll just sort this problem out. Bites on bees, like when you can visually see them when you're going through the hive, you've got a problem. It's as simple as that. So we know we've got an issue. Yep. No AFB detected. <laughs> Don't tell me you found her. She's quite elusive. Oh, there she is. There she is. Yeah, so we're just catching the queen. Oh, hello, darling. There she is. Down through here, you've got honey all around the outside, bit of pollen down through here, bit of drone brood down through there, and your cluster of main brood is in there. You can see a couple of little bits of larvae mm -hmm. that are still growing, and I'm just poking my eyes down just to see if I can see any mites rolling around on them, because right. this is the stage which they'll go in. Yep. See a mite on there, just mite before, on there. Just before they cap. Yeah. Yeah. And just see what sort of stage they are. Whether there's any different deformities, etc., on it. Mm -hmm. It all looks pretty natural, it all looks pretty good. So, when you do an AFB inspection, you're looking at every single cell on the block. So, the mm -hmm. first one I do at the moment is I'm just looking at the actual general bee health, seeing if there's anything while the bees are on the board, anything abnormal that I'm looking for through both sides. Might be, might be, might be, might be, might be, might be. Poor bastards. And then I just shake them off. And this is when I do the full AFB inspection. As you can see, the brood is open from both sides, and so you can actually see the full cells. So one of the things that um, we'd be looking for when doing uh, an inspection like this, uh, misshapen sunken cells, uh, sporadic brood pattern. What else would you be looking for, Shane? Uh, any smell. Any smell, big one. Yeah. You normally get a fishy smell. It can be faint and it helps if you've got a good sense of smell, which I do. Uh, and so those dark sunken capping, so any capping that I look that looks reasonably dark and has sunken in, because normally the brood has got a nice raised one if it's got a healthy larva inside, sunken ones can just mean that it is deteriorated, doesn't necessarily mean AFB, the rotor test is the one that proves it's got AFB. And so you just go from there, just work your way through the probabilities. Mm. If I pull it out like that, it's, good. it's not AFB. Yeah. But you see how sunken that capping yeah. was? Because she's ran two, two boxes as her brood box, we have to inspect the top box for AFB no matter what. Even if it's chocolate with honey, we're still going to inspect it. Because you've got these as stores, uh -huh. There's no excuse for your hive to starve because okay. you can pop along any time. It's close to the house. Mm -hmm. It's there. That's good. This is a, this is a good frame. Oh, yes. You had a couple of good frames, a good solid mm. honey. The ones that you've popped in there, they were pretty solid? Yep. All were solid, yeah. Okay, great. What I get people to do is if they're reducing it down to one hive like that, mm -hmm. uh, they can just simply keep the food on top of the existing hive. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so smart. I like that. I like that better. Because then it's not going anywhere else and yeah. it's it's right where the bees are. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Yum <laughs> <laughs> Num num. You're a dick. <laughs> I love these. Oh. Yeah, so do I. 
So this is formic acid strips. It has a cover over the strip. You don't remove that. It um, acts as a, a wick. Whew. And don't breathe it in. All right? If you like your lungs. But you can eat the honey yeah, if yeah. this goes on. I wouldn't. Two weeks, but, they say. Um, Harvest the honey within two weeks. Yeah, I but, personally wouldn't. Can you um, brush the group these for me? Get them off. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one here and then one yep, there, right? Like yep. yep. All right, team. Ready? And so now all your food is down here. And we simply have to Now that's not lined up with that. You get that to stick out. Is it sweet? I feel like we're sweet now. Okay. Come up there. Done, man. Okay, so uh, these frames which we've taken out, gonna freeze this one. And give it to the chucks. And give it to the chucks. Because uh head down for that. You need to get off because you're a you know chooks love you're good. Man. The chooks do love it. Alright, so no AFB. No, no, Feeling pretty good that. about that, people. No AFB detected is the correct one. <laughs> no AFB detected. Right, Two terminology. Problem, but all, um, you know, all girls have a bit of penis. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs>